Hello and welcome back and today I want to continue my comparisons of a number of these mobile applications for your NAS devices. Today I want to talk about um, from Synology DS Video and compare it against QVideo from QNAP. Now if you saw my individual reviews you may already know my feelings on this but you know what let's hold on tight for it anyway. But nevertheless these are kind of the go-to uh, video playback apps from both respective companies and they've both gone a very different method. But for a change, the technical viewpoint that QNAP have gone for to give you all the information as much as possible does actually fail quite badly in this app as far as I'm concerned. The Synology application is exactly what you want from a video playback uh, app. I would go as far as to say that the Synology app actually rivals the Plex Media Server app in a number of ways, or that lacks a lot of the other live TV functionalities. Now, both of them are designed to play back videos and movies in all the media, music, whatever as well, that is living on your NAS device. Uh, the idea is that if you want to kick back, watch some of the movies, remember that is the, pre that is the main reason for this app. It's not for viewing any old file, it's for viewing media, your TV shows and your movies. That is the remit. Now QVideo from QNAP seems to give you all the options and the you know, bits and bobs that are on your other apps if you've seen from our other comparisons. Um, the app that we see here is the same framework with some extra options included and removed, which is nice, don't get me wrong. But the Synology app takes the remit of what a video app is supposed to be and sticks with it. It only includes the options that are pertaining to watching video on your mobile phone. Everything from audio pass-through, some of the video and transcoding and encodings, there's a lot more options on this, this particular Synology app than any other Synology app so far. And what it does is give you a much smoother and easier video watching experience because that's ultimately what the app is for. You don't want it to be technical in this context. When you want to watch a movie on the sofa at home, you don't want to have to fiddle around with codecs. You don't want to have to fiddle around with bits and bobs. Now, both of them are quite, you know, have their own visual appeal in nature. The QNAP one opens up into thumbnails and of course you can change it to lists and you can cast all this media how you want. There's also classification systems built in that let you classify box sets and movies and music videos and your own personal videos. And of course, another QNAP favorite, karaoke. Synology, on the other hand, does break it down into a, a much smaller paddock of different options, TV show, movie. I would think home movies and music videos are on there, but none of the others. But the Synology does it in, uh, the Synology app, I should say, DS Video, does it in a much, much better way. It presented a lot more user-friendly and it borrows a lot of the features that you see in the likes of Plex with metadata scraping. The result being that whereas the QNAP gives you a thumbnail if you own it and you know the name of the file and the properties the weight the bit rate the technical information the Synology app although that information is there will scrape the metadata and give you thumbnails it will give you descriptions it will give you actors it will give you year of release it will give you reviews none of which are your own these are ones that are found on IMDB and TMDB these are great little functions and features that you want in a media app the QNAP one is not dissimilar to their photo application, which I really, really liked. But that was because that was the context in which you were watching it. In the case of uh, the QNAP app, it is more of a file manager than it is media, and particularly video, which it lets once again state that is the main reason for this app. It is a good app. It goes for all the options. You've got better folder control, and you've got better control of those files in the QNAP application. But it's not control and dictation that you want. What you want is ease. And the Synology one gives you better options for distribution file and streaming, I'd go as far as to say. I did a quick test off camera where look at the transcoding there on QNAP. We'll get to that in a second. Both these apps can cast to a local DLNA uh, supported device uh, that is you know, semi-smart. But the Synology did it in one layer. Just click done. The QNAP, on the other hand, um, asked you to verify different devices, then it had to establish a link, then it had to ask you about transcoding and stuff like that. Stuff you don't really want to mess around with um, when you just want to watch a movie. There were preset defaults, but there's too many things that would have to be a default on the QNAP for that to be as user-friendly. Now, going back to that point about transcoding, at least you have better transcoding options on the QNAP. But once again, that's very much in that vibe of personal and control. The ability for you to watch the movie in the precise way that you want to watch it. Um, but if you don't need precision every time, or what you really want to do is just watch a movie, 
the Synology app wins for me. They both support transcoding, they both change the file automatically if need be. You can set it to ask you every time or not. Don't worry about the stuttering on camera there, that's just because of the capture device. But it should be said that once again, I do believe the Synology video app is the better of the two. I just think it, it performs to what you expect a great deal more, whereas the QNAP app, it's just giving you too much information and too much of a technical stance, and that's not something you want in this context. But nevertheless, that has been DS Video versus Q Video. Do check out my other videos. I'm going to be comparing a few of the others, and particularly some of the newer applications for the likes of um, surveillance and more. And do remember to watch the individual videos on these two programs to see uh, my overall review of each of them. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.